In this video, you'll discover all the awesome bars on Mariner of the Seas. You'll find out what makes each bar unique, and you can start planning where you want to spend your time. I'm also going to tell you how you can download our exclusive Mariner of the Seas Bar Crawl Guide. This will help you maximize your Mariner of the Seas bar hopping experience. So let's get started. We've got to start off with uh, probably my favorite. This ship has a tiki bar. A tiki bar on a cruise ship, how perfect. The Bamboo Room, it's a great bar to go to in the evening, hang out, grab yourself some, uh, some little appetizers, get some great tiki drinks. Uh, we really enjoyed the uh, barbecue pork sliders, Hawaiian style. Um, and they also have a great uh, ahi tuna pokey, which is a Hawaiian uh, appetizer. It's got uh, ahi tuna served in little wonton bowls. Both, both great appetizers. They got a couple others, but uh, those are the two that we tried, and we really liked them both. The, the uh, tiki drinks are amazing, as are the surroundings. It's got a great vibe. The tiki drinks include all kinds of different rum drinks and other variations, served in tiki glasses, of course. And they even have one that, uh, if you're of a certain age, you might remember drinking your drink out of a bag with a straw you poke in it. Well, they've got one very similar to that, but of course it's, uh, it's an adult drink. Check those out. The Bamboo Room, great stuff. Again, Hawaiian barbecue pork sliders, probably be my pick. My wife really liked the ahi tuna pokey. Great food, great drinks at the Bamboo Room. If you're looking for something traditional in the sense of a pub, how about an English pub? They've got an English pub on the ship. An extensive list of beer and cocktails. You should check that out. It's beautifully decorated, lots of nice wood. You'll feel like you're back in old London. London town, having a drink when you're really on the high seas in the Caribbean. Gotta mention at this point, please be sure you drink responsibly. There's a lot of great bars on the ship, but you want to be careful, of course. Let's move on. Gotta mention probably the bar we went to the most, Playmakers. Playmakers Bar and Arcade. It's open earlier than the other bars I've mentioned. It's open throughout the afternoon and the evenings on most days, and you can go there. You can watch a game on the TV, multiple TVs. They've got a pool table, they've got some board games, even got a couple video games back in the corner. You can go there and check that out. Have yourself a great beer, cocktail, and they even got a, a food menu. The food menu includes things like chicken wings. Of course, sports bar, you gotta have chicken wings. They've also got burgers, sandwiches, and they've got this dessert called the Touchdown Sunday, which is several scoops of leaf five scoops of Ben & Jerry's ice cream served in a football helmet. It's awesome. Playmakers, great place to go. And during the daytime, they've even got some uh, board games you can grab and play those while you're just hanging out, you know, passing the time until it's time for the next meal. It's Royal Caribbean, so they've got to have the Schooner Bar, the nautically themed classic Royal Caribbean bar. It's a great spot to hang out, spend time getting to know new people, getting to know the friends you're traveling with, you gotta check out the Schooner Bar. It's great atmosphere. Speaking of the Royal Caribbean Classic Bars, there's the Viking Crown Lounge. Yet another awesome bar. This one's got a great view within the bar, but the view that's worth talking about, you can be on Mariner of the Seas in the Viking Crown Lounge and see out across so much of the ship through these great panoramic windows and you get a view into the sea or into port if you're in a port. Great experience at the Viking Crown Lounge. Now, of course, you've got to have a pool bar, and Mariner of the Seas is no exception. They've got a great pool bar, and the pool bar has a boardwalk doghouse within just a few steps away. You go over the boardwalk doghouse, get yourself a complimentary hot dog or bratwurst or other interesting sausage. Great, great stuff to have with your drink at the pool bar. Now, if you're wanting a quieter experience, but you still want to have the fresh air, head to the solarium. It's the adults only area, and they've got a solarium bar. It's a great spot to check out. The solarium bar in the adults only solarium. Another spot I found particularly awesome for a late night bar, bar stop is Bolero's bar. They've got live music and a dance floor. It's got a great Latin theme nice place to dance and hang out or just sit there and enjoy the great music. 
Boleros. You'll find that just across from the casino and across from Starbucks. Well, another great place to get a drink maybe in the next morning after you've enjoyed the evening at Boleros. So I mentioned before we've got a bar crawl guide that we created just for the Mariner of the Seas. It lists all the bars that we've discussed here and it's a fun way to enjoy the bars with your buddies. You can complete the bar crawl on the uh, digital download as a traditional bar crawl or you can make a game out of it. We have it set up in a tic-tac-toe board formation so you can use it just like a tic-tac-toe game. You can download uh, the, the uh, digital download of the bar crawl guide, take it on the cruise on your device, or you can even print it out. Print it out, make copies up for your friends, feel free to share it. It's a great way to do that, especially if you're doing the tic-tac-toe version. Be sure to get your bar crawl guide now by clicking the link in the description below. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on our future guides, exclusive interviews, and all kinds of fun cruise content does not cost a thing to subscribe. It's just basically a way of following us so you can keep track of what we're doing. Thanks for watching.